you keep cooking those babies, they're gonna come out burnt. Hi everyone, Tara from Tara's Tank Friends here. And this is the next installment in my little experiment to see how temperature may or may not affect Endler Fry. This is one of my fry tanks. Um, I have moved all of the CPD fry out except for one that I am keeping. I sold them to one of my LFSs and I have seven of the third brood of Blue Star Endler Fry in here. These ones were born and formed at 76 degrees and they are just over two months old. I believe I have three definite males, three definite females, and one that I'm not sure about. Okay, so I've got them in a container. The three that are on the most right obviously have started to color up. And then that one right in front here now, so focus. See that little black spot on its tail, on the bottom of its tail fin? Um, these get like a singular little colored bit to the bottom of the tail fin. Um, the rest of the tail is clear. And even though this one is still gray, you see the gravid spot has almost disappeared. And it's got that little bit of black on the tail um, not a distinct gonopodium as of yet, but I'm thinking soon. That one's just a little bit of a late bloomer. So this would be four of seven on the brood that was born at 76 degrees, as opposed to three of 10 for the first two broods that were born and formed at 78 degrees. But I cannot call it yet uh, because I'd like at least one more brood that is born and formed at 76 degrees to see if there is consistency in that. I should by now have a second brood that is born and formed in 76 degrees. And this is the larger female that I've been using for this experiment. And I did notice that with the 78 degrees, the two broods were born at about three and a half weeks. And then uh, with the 76 degree brood, it took about five weeks. But she has been in this net for seven weeks now and she's actually looking less pregnant to me now. I check the net twice a day. I don't know if it is possible that they can reabsorb their babies or anything like that. And I have not seen her look like she ate a lot more than usual. So I'm not sure what's going on with her. So there is a little bit of a slowdown here. I may end up just releasing her back into the main tank because I'm not sure what's going on with her. I did end up catching a different female who is very very round looking and I'm hoping that she will produce some fry fairly soon uh, but then it will be a couple of more months before I know the genders of those babies and she is a younger smaller fish so her brood may not be as large. This is the late bloomer male here. Uh, it's been a little bit less than a week since I put the males in here. And he is just developing a bluish sheen and a much more distinct gonopodium and a little bit more color. Uh, I am a little bit curious as to why this one is developing so much later than the other three males, um, but it's uh, four of seven males at 76 degrees for this first brood, and again three of ten for the first two broods at 78 degrees. 
So there's the update on the first brood, and I hope that I will have another one soon. And uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Give me a like and subscribe if you would like to keep following this video and comment below. Have a great day. Thank you.